Would you like to import hundreds or thousands of points from Microsoft Streets and Trips and other mapping tools into Google Maps and share them with others in the web? This video tutorial shows you how. Hi, Keith from My Point Exactly here. We help you maximize your productivity with today's mapping and GPS tools. If you like this tutorial, make sure you check out the rest of our free training topics at MyPointSales.com. And by the way, in our next video, coming soon, we'll show you how to navigate on your Android phone with the points you've uploaded. So pay attention, because this is going to get interesting. Okay, in order to import your points into Google My Maps, the file you're working with must be in a KML, KMZ, or GORSS format. There are various tools available to convert your particular version of data into one of these formats, and we'll discuss them in a second. First, we have to talk about the source file we're going to convert. A GPS data output format that is common across multiple GPS platforms like personal navigation devices and laptop software programs is the GPS Exchange Format, or GPX. This training will show you how to convert a GPX file to a KML file using a free online tool and then we'll import to Google Maps. There are many GPS software and hardware devices that will output a GPX file. In this case, we're generating the file with Microsoft Streets and Trips 2011. Here I have a Streets and Trips map with 200 sales prospects in the Northeast Territory. To create the GPX file output, I click on Data and Export to GPX file. Choose the Destination folder, Add File Name, and save. The next step is to convert the GPX file I just created into a KML file that Google Maps can read. As I said, there are many tools available to do this. Find them by searching Convert GPX to KML online. One very easy to use tool I found was at gpx2kml.com. To use it, I ensure the GPX to KML conversion is selected. Then browse to the GPX file I just created on my computer. I leave the waypoints, tracks, and routes boxes checked as default. And click Convert. The tool lets me know the file is converted. And I click here to download it. Click Save. Choose the destination folder. Rename the file if desired. And click Save again. Pretty easy. You might consider liking this site on Facebook to thank them for the service. Now, when signed into Google, click on Maps, then My Places, choose Create a Map, enter the title and description, and choose whether you want it to be public or unlisted. Next, choose Import and choose File. Navigate to the folder where you saved your converted KML file. Click on it and choose Open. Then click Upload from File. And that's it! Your points are automatically loaded to Google Maps. Click Done. And now when you click on the balloon, you'll see the name and address of your point. Now you can upload files to Google Maps of up to 3 megabytes. In my tests, that encompassed 3,000 points exported from Microsoft Streets and Trips. Note, however, that while you can upload that many points, I found Google Maps will only display 200 of them on the map at a time. And to cycle through them, you click the Pages button at the bottom of the legend pane. So now you've got your points online, and you can share them easily with others. And if you've got a phone running the Google Map app, you'll be able to access these points on the road and use them in your phone's route navigation. We'll cover more on Google Maps and using maps you've created as a part of your smartphone navigation toolkit in coming training sessions. Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial on importing points into Google Maps. If you'd like to learn more about mapping, GPS, and how it can increase your productivity, check out our free training at mypointsales.com. Got an idea for a tutorial you'd like to see? Drop us a line at learn at mypointsales.com.